Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to be doing my championship score predictions. Now, it's another week of championship football, we're all happy. I didn't do a Prem one because obviously the Prem's a bit messed up at the moment. Because obviously they're doing like Tuesday weeks, like Tuesday through to Friday and stuff. Just because you need to get games played. Congratulations to Liverpool for winning the Premier League. Well done, well deserved. They played very well all season, except against Watford. Um, yeah, but a very good season and well deserved. Uh, goodbye Chelsea yesterday, I thought they played some brilliant football as well. But we're here for the Championship and the Championship only. Now, big news this week, Middlesbrough sacked Jonathan Woodgate. Yes, I'm happy about that. All Borough fans, let me know your opinion in the comments. I was buzzing. If you knew, I was crying with happiness on my live stream, just because it was just such good news. And we got Neil Warnock in. Eight promotions, four years of experience. Can't go wrong. Hopefully, Berwick can stay up now. Um, and, yeah. So, first game of this week. Brentford versus West Brom. A very good game. It's tonight. I'm filming this at half two on the 26th of June. This match is in five hours, I think. If I'll be right. Five hours, 15 minutes, something like that. Definitely be tuning in to watch that. I've gone for a 2-1 West Brom. I just think they're just a little bit better than them. Just a little bit, not by much. It'll be a tight game, or I think like maybe 70th minute. Someone like Diagana or Matias Pereira may just change that game. That little bit extra quality which West Brom have. Next up, we've got Preston versus Cardiff. Um, both going for playoffs. Cardiff with a brilliant win over Leeds on Sunday. I think it will be a 1 1. I think it will be a draw point shared. It's 12 30 kickoff. So, I don't know if that one's... I don't know which one's on Sky, to be honest. I didn't look at... But, yeah. Um, next up is Swansea versus Luton Town. Luton sit 23rd or 4th. I'm, I think it's 24th. Swansea after battering Borough 3-0 away. Um, they'll be on a run of form, and I think they will pick this one up 2-0. Three points in the bag. Uh, they played extremely well against Middlesbrough. Um, are you... Was very, was quality. Um, Brewster was very good as well, and they were a very good team. Worked well together as a unit. Next up, we have Charlton versus QPR. London rivalry. I don't know how close they are. Um, Charlton struggling at the moment. They did pick up three points against Hull. Um, but I think QPR will just nick this one. It'll be a very tight game, but I do think it will be one nil to QPR. Next up, we've got Barnsley versus playoff chasers, Millwall and Barnsley fighting for their lives. That's why I think this game will be closer than everybody else thinks. Um, Millwall with quality, uh, Wallace and people like that. Barnsley, though, never write them off. They always have something to say, always have a goal in them. They're a very good attacking side, but the defence lets them down sometimes. I have gone for a one Millwall. Big mistake. Next up. We've got Derby County versus Redden. Um, I think Derby sit eleventh, Redden sit fourteenth. Both mid tier. I don't. Think, I don't. I see either of them dropping down into a relegation fight or pushing for playoffs. Um, I think they're just mid tier side. Got nothing to play for. I don't think it'll be. It'll be an exciting game. I just think it'll be a draw. One one, two one one so far. Next up, we've got my team, Borough. Versus Stoke away. Now, uh, Neil Warnock, a very good manager, as I think a lot of people know, he got Cardiff promoted on a small budget. Um, I'm buzzing we've got him in. I don't know how the other Berra fans feel about it. Uh, people say he's a dying sort of, but no, he keeps you in the league, and I would like us to give him another season after this. He's mental, but he's a great manager, and I think we will pick up three points. And I've gone for a 2 1 up the Borough. Come on. Yeah, 2 1 Borough. Um, I've just got that little bit of confidence. You know, when you get a new manager and everything's like clean slate, everyone, except Ayala. Um, and everyone just wants to play for the manager and prove themselves. That's what I think will happen. That's why I think we'll nick a 2 1. Next up, we've got Birmingham City versus Hull City. Um, Hull, I don't see where they're going to get a goal from. I have gone for a 1-0 Birmingham. Um, I do think Hull possibly could get relegated without Jarrah and Krasinski. 
I think they are really struggling. I don't know where they can get their next goal from. I know Beryl was struggling, but we've got a new manager and uh, they, they need to get rid of Grant McCann. But yeah, I've got 1 0 Birmingham. Next up, we've got Wigan versus Blackburn. Um, Wigan sat 18th or 19th. Blackburn sit, I think it's 8th, 9th, something like that. They had a brilliant win last week and I think they'll get another win today. It won't be as good as last week. I think this one will be 1 0. I will be live streaming probably. No, I won't be. I'll see. Uh, because I might be live streaming on Instagram, but we'll see because I might be watching the Newsboro match. Next up, we've got um, the first, well, second versus third, Leeds versus Fulham. Um, I think there'll be another draw here. I don't think Leeds will drop a point. Well, they, will drop, they won't get three, but I think it'll be a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go Anthony Knocker to score for Fulham and who to score for Leeds. Not sure. Not sure for Leeds, but I have a feeling Anthony Knockhart's going to score. Or obviously Mitrovic. Maybe maybe one for Bamford. Next up we've got Bristol City versus Sheffield Wednesday. Bristol City, another team chasing the playoffs. There's a lot of teams going for playoffs. Sheffield Wednesday, just mid table like. So I've gone two 0 Bristol City because they are fighting for some Wednesday really aren't. I don't want to see them dropping in that lower bracket in the relegation scrap of Wigan, Middlesbrough, Huddersfield, all them um, stuff. But I don't want to see them pushing up the table much. Next up, and the last game I'm predicting, Nottingham Forest versus Huddersfield. Forest sit fifth, and I think they'll get three points here. And I think it'll be 3-1 Forest. Uh, Forest, good side, good attacking side, got Lewis Grab and good players. Decent, strong defence and decent midfield. Overall, they will be getting playoffs, and you never know. I think I could see them in the final. We'll see. But yeah, I think Nottingham Forest, 3-1. So, that's all my predictions done. Thank you all for watching this video. 